Hello learners, how are you all? I hope you are all doing very well by the grace of God. Yes, you are all welcome to our online lesson. I hope that you really enjoy this day. Now, we have science for GHS1. Science for GHS1. And the topic is measurement of physical quantities. Our subtle for today is and wait. We've learned previously the meaning of measurement. We said the comparison of something we don't know with something we do of the same kind. What we see, measurement is the comparison of an unknown quantity with some fixed quantities of the same kind. You remember this definition? Very good. And we give examples of physical quantities as well. We said they are in two forms. We have the base quantities and the derived quantities. We talked a lot about the base and that's what we derived. So, we gave one example and a derived quantity. That has to do with what? Weight. And that is what we are here to learn. Now, what then is weight? When we say weight, how do we even what that there's weight here? People always contradict themselves with weight and that of what? Mass. And today, we'll be able to understand it very well. Now, in the first place, weight is what? It's defined as the earth gravitational force acting on the mass of a body. When I say the earth gravitational force acting on the mass of a body, you know what the gravitational force is about? It pulls all objects toward the center of the earth. You know this. So when I throw this marker up, it will be to come down. Why? It means that there's a type of force that is bringing the marker back to the surface of the earth. And we call that the force of the force of what's gravity. So as soon as this force acts on any body that is suspended, you experience weight. But when you put a body on the table, you don't experience weight. Why? Because there's nothing like gravitational force acting on this when it's on the table. But when this suspends, it possesses what's called uh, gravitational force acts on this particular marker. Now, he said it is measured in Newton. Why is it measured in Newton? We have something force. So meaning if it's about force, then forces are measured in what Newton. On that note, Weight is also a type of foot force. That is why it has its unit to be what in Newton. Now, let's look at the mathematical expression of what of weight. We can represent the definition of weight mathematically. From the definition, you had force of gravity, right? Or the gravitational force. Then we also had something about mass. Have you seen all of those things? Let's see. So we can express it as weight equals what? The mass we talked about with respect to what? The gravity. So the two of them. Now, uh, weight begins with the letter W. Mass begins with the letter what? M. Gravity begins with the letter what? J. So we have weight equals what? M times J. That's W equals M times J. In mathematics, anytime we have expressions like this, two letters multiplying, what do we get? I see MJ. Or A times B, we say A B. Y times U, we say what Y U, something like that. Now, let's look at an example. Calculation of this. This is what we normally do in when it comes to physics. Anytime you solve something like this or you look at a formula, we give you sample questions to try. And this is an example. And it reads a body of mass, 12 kilograms, hangs on a wall of height. Three meters. Calculate the weight of the body. 
Now that's, that's the, the value written here. We have J equals what? 10 meters per second squared. And it's a constant on the earth. A constant value. So anytime you have J, it's given to you as what? 10 meters per second. Even if it's not given to you, you should also know that it is 10 meters per second on earth. It is 8 meters per second on what? On the moon. You look at all those things when you get to celestial bodies. Now let's come back to this one. So, so how do we solve this? Anytime you're giving such questions, try as much as possible to identify the things you are giving from the question. The first one has with mass. What is the mass? From the question, you have 12 k kilograms. You write it there. What are you giving height? Well, we have height. So let's record that one so down. Three meters. Gravity was given as what? 10 meters per second squared. Now, let's go back to the formula. It says, but weight equals what? Mass times gravity. Did you see mass times height and value? No. Very good. You only saw mass times what? Value. So you do what was substitution of values into the formula. So whatever you see mass, what do you put there? 12 kilograms. Very good. Times the gravity is what? J. And J was given as what? 10 meters per second squared. Now, the rest is multiplication. Normal calculation. Which has to do with 12 times 10. You shouldn't forget, any time you multiply 12, by 10 or numbers in tens, hundreds, and, and the rest, what you do is you multiply the 12 by the 1. What do you get? 12. And you add a 0 to it. So you have 120 kilograms meters per second square. Then finally, we stated it clearly that weight is a type of force. Therefore, we will not end the final answer at kilogram meters per second square, but rather newtons, meaning kilogram meters per second square is the same as what? Newtons. We began with what's the measurement of physical quantities and then we are looking at weight. So, we also define weight as for the air gravitational force acting on the mass of the body. Very good. So, don't forget the magnetic expression of what weight as well, which m is w equals what mg. And then the work example also gives. Follow this and your assignment on this particular topic will be given to you on a Google platform where you have to do everything and then you submit it nicely. Are you okay? Bye for now.